I've been looking for a way to cast my MLM2 Pro Rap Soto app to my projector on a budget. I've tried this dongle, but you can't charge with it and it's so finicky that the connection goes out all the time. I never use it. Finally, I found a software slash app combo that is entirely free. The only thing you need is your device that runs the Rap Soto app as well as a PC. And if you're like me and you have a PC in your simulator, you can actually get this to cast 100% for free. Let me show you exactly how to do that and then we'll test it out and look at some of the limitations and just how well it actually works. So this right here is the website and you will have to install this onto your PC as well as onto your mobile device. So for instance, my iPhone. So you'll need the Windows version and then they also have the link. So for me, I have an iOS device, but it also will work for Android. So this is a simple install. It took me less than a minute to get up and running with it. And then the app you're looking for is called AirDroid Cast. I'll leave a link to that as well, of course. And once you have the app installed on your device, you can pull it up on your PC and this is what it will look like. Bring it up on your phone at the exact same time. You can either enter this code right here, or there's an option to open up your camera, scan the code, and it's that easy. Select start broadcast. So the screen recording was screwing it up for me, but essentially you'll hit start broadcast, start broadcast, Turn your attention over to your PC and boom, it is up. Now, if you have two displays like I do, a PC and a projector, you can hit Windows, Shift, and then the arrow key. For my example, I hit the left arrow key and it shoots it straight over to my projector. And this is already working. It's already picking up my phone right here. So if I open up the Rapsodo app, we're in. There's a full screen button. And that's it. There are paid versions of this, but for the instance of running the Rap Soto app, you don't need it whatsoever. And the free version is good enough. So I tested this out the way I typically use the Rap Soto app, which is on the practice mode, the driving range. And then I checked out course play too, because typically I don't do too much course play because it's just a hassle to set up my projector. So I started out with the driving range and I noticed that there is nearly no lag. Okay, maybe a few milliseconds. Um, but nothing extremely noticeable. Now you will notice a little bit of graininess and maybe a slight FPS drop when compared to actually using the app itself. And uh, you're gonna get that with pretty much any of these wireless displays. I tried the Amazon Fire Stick, paid 50 bucks for the 4K version and it just ran too slow for me to be paying 50 bucks. So you'll notice a little bit of graininess. Maybe it's not quite as smooth, but it's definitely acceptable if you're looking for a free option. Then of course I took this to practice mode and practice mode is my preferred way to use my MLM2 Pro. I love being able to look at those shot cameras, impact cameras, and just be able to see the numbers. And so I'm not necessarily concerned with a ball flight and that's where this app shines because you don't have to worry about any lagging or skipping. Uh, pretty much you're just waiting for those numbers to pop up on the screen. And so I had a great experience using this with practice mode and because this is so easy to set up, I'll definitely continue to use this for practice mode especially because I can just quickly turn my head up, see my impact, and it's a little bit more natural to look forward uh, than actually picking your head up to look at the tripod in front of you. Next, I tried out course play, and I was expecting to not enjoy it quite as much as I did the practice mode, just because of that slight bit of lag and uh, maybe taking away from the graphics a little bit. But to my surprise, actually it improved the course play experience for me. Now, Rapsodo app is lacking an offset, which would be fantastic for me, but I am kind of getting used to it, especially because I play without an offset on the Square app. And so you can't argue with starting out on the first hole on Pebble Beach with a birdie, but I will say even for a free version, I will definitely continue to use this even for course play. An extra added benefit for me is I can record using OBS straight on my computer, so I don't have to screen record the Rapsodo app, which will allow for some better performance going forward. And so overall, I was really pleased with it. Now, obviously the limitations are a slight bit of input lag, a little bit of graininess and loss of FPS, but nothing that you won't get with any of those wireless dongles, a Fire Stick or a Roku. And then the trade-off being, this is free. You don't have to mess with one of these wireless dongles, which is a purchase that I absolutely regret making because it's just not reliable enough and I can't actually charge my device while using this. 
and I would love a wireless option. So let me know what you think of AirDroid Cast. I'll leave links in the descriptions and hopefully the tutorials were enough to help you get set up, but it's really straightforward. And I'm happy to have finally discovered a free option for casting the Rapsodo app to my projector. Let me know what you all think. And thank you for visiting Unreal Golf.